Do you want to make your own custom overlays? Custom overlays are great for any kind of stream occasion or daily streams. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own custom overlays completely for free. All you need is a little bit of patience as well as your creativity. Imagination is really your limit. All you need is a free account on StreamElements.com, the complete website for all your streaming needs. So what are you waiting for? Let's go! If you want more videos like this in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe! Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris from twitch.tv slash crescentine. If you have watched my streams before, you probably noticed that every time I have an event, I would probably have a new overlay. Overlays are a great way to capture the attention and interest of your audience. It also adds a lot of entertainment value to your stream, especially if you're just starting out. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own custom overlays using StreamElements.com. Head on over to your StreamElements dashboard and check the themes gallery. You can use any theme in this gallery as the base for your custom overlay. You can also click on this button to start from a blank overlay. Sometimes you would have 5 overlays in a theme. You can simply delete the overlays that you don't need and edit the overlay that you will be using as the foundation for your custom overlay overlay. Before we can get started on editing your overlay, you have to be familiar with the four tabs that may appear on the left side of the editing dashboard. If you're using an already built overlay as the base for your custom overlay, the first thing to do is emulate the notifications. If you don't like the built-in notifications, you can always change them by going to the themes gallery and then clicking on alerts. You can create these overlays and then copy them into the overlay that you're already editing. Moving on, the next thing you should do is check what items already exist in the overlay you're editing. Once you figure out which items you want, make sure to delete the items you don't using the Layers tab on the left-hand side. Under the Layers tab, you will see two icons, an eye and a padlock. Use the eye to show and hide items on your overlay. Meanwhile, you can use the padlock to prevent items from being moved around. Aside from deleting items on your overlay, there are many other things that you can do under the Layers tab. Beside the Delete button, you will find three icons. The first icon is to delete a group. Meanwhile, the second icon is to create that group. Groups allow you to move items around all at the same time. Meanwhile, the third icon allows you to duplicate an item in the overlay. You may also copy items onto other overlays. You can also resize items on your overlay by dragging the edges of these elements. Sometimes, dragging the edges of graphics will allow you to crop an item. However, not in all cases. This is why I actually like to edit graphics outside of stream elements before I upload them into my overlay. Apart from those things, you can also change the name of each item on your overlay by double-clicking on its title. At the bottom part of your Overlay Editor dashboard, you will see the Emulate button. The Emulate button allows you to see live events such as followers, subscribers, hosts, and raids so that you can test them out before you go live on your stream. Other buttons at the bottom of your dashboard include an Undo and Redo button, a Zooming In and Out button, a Fit to Screen and Reset Zoom button, turning off snapping to the grids, muting the audio in your editor. If you've been watching carefully, you will see that I have deleted all of the items that I don't need, and I have moved around items that I like and put them into positions that I desire. 
For items that allow you to edit the text, go under the settings tab to change the message and then go under text settings to change the font, the color, the style, the spacing, and other text features. Stream Elements has a lot of features. You can add so many things to your overlay including widgets, images, GIFs, animated effects, and so on. In order to add more pizzazz to your overlay, simply click on the plus button and see what features Stream Elements offers for your overlay. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you get notified for future tutorial videos. Here are a few tips when creating overlays on stream elements. Have a theme in mind before you start to create your overlay. It will definitely make everything easier. Try to start with the top or bottom bar. You can then add recognition for your latest follower or subscriber or maybe your recent tipper or cheerer. Next, plan for where your webcam or display capture will go. Add an alert box so you will have notifications when somebody follows, subscribes, tips, or cheers in your stream. I also prefer to have my stream chat in my overlay. Afterwards, feel free to be creative with all of your graphics. Don't forget to test, test, test using the emulate button to make sure that your overlay is working perfectly before you go live on your stream. You can add all kinds of graphics for your overlay, preferably in PNG format. You can also add animated graphics such as videos or GIFs. Let your imagination run wild. As you can see here, I've successfully transformed one of Stream Elements' built-in overlays into something that fits my style and my brand, without spending a single penny. If you feel that you need more support to create your own customized overlays or you feel that your creativity is limited, feel free to drop by crescentine.tv and send me an inquiry and I might be able to help you create your own overlays on Stream Elements. Remember that you can also copy and paste elements from other overlays into the overlay you're currently editing. Having your overlays and stream elements makes everything so much more convenient. This allows you to access your overlays from anywhere that you have internet and a browser. Having your overlays on stream elements will also allow it to be connected to stream-related data, which allows for the possibility of having notifications and alert boxes as well as having stream goals such as for tips and cheers. Remember that everything you do on your overlay will also appear live on your OBS browser source. So whenever you emulate in stream elements, that will also appear on OBS. Every time you save your overlay, these changes will also automatically be applied to the browser source in your OBS software. You can also edit your notifications and customize them as much as you can customize your overlays. You can change the graphics, add videos, change the sounds, and edit them as much as you want. Always make sure to test, test, test your notifications and alerts. Also, when editing alert boxes, don't forget to check the variation settings on the left-hand side. Variations allow you to have conditions that show a different kind of notification whenever something special happens in your stream. For example, if somebody cheers 1000 bits, the notification can be different versus somebody who cheers 100,000 bits. Once you're happy with your customized overlay, you can simply copy the URL and then add a browser source in your OBS scene. Make sure to input the correct width and height for your stream. One last tip before I forget, you can test the stream chat in your stream elements overlay by typing in your actual Twitch chat. As I said, everything happens live. Changing overlays is now that easy.
that's it for this video. Make sure to watch out for the next Stream Elements tutorial video that I'm going to release. Bye!